begin this commencement in the name of our life-giving and gracious God, the source of all goodness and truth, known in Christian confession as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. So if you could please follow along in your uh, program, and uh, if you could read the parts in bold print, and I'll read the parts in uh, faint print. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. There is no end to his greatness. I will ponder the glorious splendor of your majesty and all your marvelous works. They shall publish the remembrance of your great goodness. They shall sing of your righteous deeds. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is loving to everyone, and his compassion is over all his works. All your works praise you, Lord, and your faithful servants bless you. The Lord upholds all those who fall. He lifts up those who are bowed down. And our eyes of all wait upon you, O Lord, and you give them their food in Jesus' name. You open wide your hand and satisfy the needs of every living creature. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and loving in all his works. The Lord is near to those who call upon him, to all who call upon him faithfully. In his letter to the Philippians, the Apostle Paul writes, Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. Let us pray. Eternal and merciful God, your creative power and working are beyond our understanding and wisdom. Yet still you make yourself known to us in this world, in our families and friends, in our learning, in our work, in the midst of our shortcomings, in the midst of our achievements, in our hopes for what we will become in your grace. Now and in our futures, enlighten our minds, make us just and loving people, draw us to you and bless all those around us. I ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ, in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Good morning. My name is Mike Franzen, and it is my privilege to serve as Wittenberg's 15th president, and my pleasure to welcome you to this celebration of the class of 2022. It is wonderful to be back in Commencement Hollow for the first time since 2019. Thank you to all who have joined us. Yeah, that, that deserves a round of applause. Now, it, it says applause other places in here, so hopefully we'll get that right. <laughs> Thank you to all who, who have joined us, mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, grandparents, and other family and friends for whom this is a special day. Let us all continue to do all we can to make it an extraordinary day for our graduates. This is also a special day for Matavia Endowed University pastors Andy and Rachel Toon. They are graduating into retirement this summer after 23 years of dedicated service and leadership at Wittenberg. I am grateful for their passion for this place and the people, especially our students. We have about 26,000 living alumni, and by my rough count, about one-third of them have been influenced by Andy and Rachel during their time at Wittenberg. Andy, Rachel, thank you for all you have done. Graduates, we need to celebrate those who have helped you reach this milestone in your lives, 
And I would like you all to stand and first give a round of applause to the friends and family with you here today. Ne don't sit down. <laughs> Next, I would like you to give a round of applause to the staff members at Wittenberg who have stood by you on this journey. Department assistants, <laughs> residence hall staff, dining hall staff, the grounds crew, everyone who has contributed to your success. And of course, the faculty sitting behind me. While it is through your hard work and perseverance that you earned the degree you will receive today, it is they who have determined that you are ready to leave here to do great things. You are prepared to pursue your vocations and lead lives of meaning and purpose. You have met the challenges the faculty put in front of you. Their passion for their teaching, scholarship, and continued learning is matched by, the, <clears throat> excuse me, by their caring about you and your success. Graduates, please join me in thanking them with a round of applause. And last, take a minute to thank each other. While many have shaped your experience here, probably none have done so more than your classmates. Please be seated. Perhaps some of you, graduates and parents, remember I shared an acronym with you when you first arrived on campus. Anybody remember? That acronym was A-B-L-E, or ABLE. A, I said, was for attitude, and I encourage you to start each day, endeavor, or relationship with a good attitude, because a good attitude makes life better. Years have pushed us out of our comfort zones many times as we were presented challenges for all that none of us expected. Learning growth and change are a continuous process through the experiences you've had, the twists and turns with sometimes daily changes, and through the power of an education in the liberal arts and sciences at a place and in a community like ours you have prepared yourselves for a lifetime of change. There are a few straight lines in life, but it is the changes that make life interesting and help us grow. So Wittenberg class of 2022, as you leave this place with your diploma, I leave you with these final thoughts from me. Whether you remember from your first days here or not, I hope you will take Abel with you. It is good advice for life, not just for college. Embrace change. It may be the only constant in your life. Embrace people. Relationships are the true riches in our lives. Find ways, large and small, globally and locally, to pass on your light to others. And remember that you are always and forever a Wittenberg Tiger. Keep in touch and share with us your stories as your life unfolds. You leave here today prepared and with purpose, and we are indeed wit proud. Thank you for what you brought to us and the ways in which you have enriched this special place. Congratulations. Now please join me in welcoming to the podium Avery Adams, your 2022 class president. Hello and welcome. I would like to thank all of those in attendance, including family, friends, staff, alumni, and countless others. Here at Wittenberg, we have a motto. 
Having light, we pass it on to others. Without your various levels of support, none of us would be here today walking into the next stages of our lives. That was your light, your presence in our lives, up to and through our college careers, worked as an ember that sparked our flames and allowed us to burn so brightly. So once again, thank you. Thank you for passing your light on to us. To the class of 2022, thank you. I am excited to be here today addressing you despite the various challenges we have faced to get to this point. While everyone's journey was different, this day is something we can always cherish together. Our efforts have molded this Wittenberg community. Through various traditions, campus involvement, places of living, we have created a space that we can always look back on with a smile. For many, this day is truly a day of celebration. You may leave this hollow knowing what you're going to do with the next stages of life. Some of you have jobs, apartments with your friends, ready to take on the rest of your life by the horns. For others, though, you're not sure what you're doing, and that's okay. I'm in that boat. Whether or not you liked it here, there was still a routine, an annual cycle of fall, winter, spring, summer, fall, that always led us back to this campus, our friends, a class schedule, among other things. We will leave this hollow today not knowing for sure when we will be back or when we will see each other again. But much like we did when we arrived on this campus, we will learn to adapt and flourish in our new communities. I have faith in myself and you that we can embrace the discomfort and make the most out of this new challenge we must conquer. This feeling, the feeling of going off into the unknown, is not a pleasant one, but it is critical. When we enter into the unknown, we are presented with new opportunities. And while this is a total cliche, the opportunities are endless. As we walk across this stage today, we need to embrace the numerous opportunities that will be presented to us. We have to apply the knowledge and experiences we have gained here as students and trust that we will make the best decisions for ourselves because that is the best anyone can really do. While we transition into our alumni statuses, it is important to appreciate the experiences we have had here at Wittenberg and to look forward to the future that awaits us outside of this bubble. We need to remember the long fun nights we had, as well as the not so long fun nights, the endless laughs we shared, as well as the tears shed, and the countless memories we shared on this campus as members of the class of 2022. Because I have been up here for the past few minutes rambling, and I've probably lost the attention of many, I wanted to sum up everything I said into a few short phrases. Number one, give thanks. Give thanks to those who led you here. Number two, overcome obstacles. Leave here today continuing to conquer. Number three, embrace discomfort. In life, there are many unknowns. Walk into them with your head held high. Number four, seek opportunity. There will be so many presented to you, take advantage of them. Number five, trust yourself. You know yourself best. And lastly, appreciate, remember, and share. Your experience here at Wittenberg was valuable. You gained a wealth of knowledge, grew as an individual, and impacted those around you. Continue to pass your light by sharing your Wittenberg experience. Once again, to the class of 2022, congratulations. I'm, I hope you're proud of all you accomplished because I know I am. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the ceremony. Thank you, Avery, for those words. May you continue to pass your light on in the world that awaits.
It is now my honor to introduce our commencement speaker, Timmy McCarthy, class of 2002. From English major to entrepreneur, social change advocate, and philanthropist, Timmy has close to 20 years of experience in the business world, having spent many years building and focusing on RCO Limited, the Ohio franchise partner of Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, founded in November 2003. You all, you all like Raising Cane's, right? Yeah. RCO Limited was built up to be the largest franchise organization within the Raising Cane's system. Timmy, we're excited to have you with us, and the podium is now yours. Holy crap, I can't believe I'm up here. Is, these robes are hot, right? Yeah. Okay, it's not just me. Thank you, class of 2022, for having me. Actually, come to think of it, you didn't have a choice, so. I want to also thank your parents, uh, my parents, uh, family and friends of, of the class of 2022. Whether you know it or not, or whether they tell you or not, you are a very important part of their journey. Thank you also to the guests and faculty and staff, President Franzen, Becky Kocher, my mom and dad, my brother Kevin, my sister Caitlin, my two boys Noah and Rowan, and my daughter Stella, and most importantly, Natalie, my bride, also class of 2002. As my brother's favorite poet and singer-songwriter Leonard Cohen teaches us an anthem, ring the bells that still can ring, forget your perfect offering. There is a crack, a crack in everything. That is how the light gets in. Life is a series of stories we tell ourselves when we are no longer in the moment. Stories about the past, events that have already happened, Stories about the future, of what's coming, and how we may handle or react to those events that haven't even, or may even, ever happen. Our story begins with a child. She's making a bunch of noise, banging around so much so that her brother, hearing the noises, comes in to find his little sister flinging manure everywhere and having a frickin' blast. <laughs> the brother, on seeing this, yells, Hey, Susie, what are you doing? Susie, with poop all over her face and arms and body, smiling from ear to ear, looks up and yells, with this much crap, there's bound to be a pony in here somewhere. <laughs> Most of my life, people have told me to be myself, but I never really understood what that meant. It's hard to see yourself and discover who you are. Others see us through their lenses. We see ourselves the way we would like to see and be, and we are our own worst critics, our mental chatter constantly running in the background, coloring every experience we have ever had. But how do you discover the thing that others can see but you cannot? Perhaps that is the only point of life, that we are met with the things that will allow us to finally discover who we are. It is only by living life that we find that answer or not. But now I'm getting too esoteric, so let me bring it back to reality. This story is as old as time. This story is your story. This story is my story. Perhaps after hearing this story, you will begin and to a large degree have already begun crafting your story. The weirdest part about these stories, about our stories, is that we don't know we are crafting them as they are being written. We don't know because for large swaths of them, they feel so mundane. Going to the grocery store, writing a to-do list, reorganizing your bedroom is as important as graduating from high school or college is. As setting a goal and achieving it is, it is as important as being there for a friend in their most horrible moments. Those mundane moments are as important as finding your love and creating a life together and having kids or not. This story, our story, yours and mine, 
begins 22 years ago when you were born. Our story begins when the Twin Towers in New York City fell. I was 13 blocks away from those towers 30 days before they fell. I returned to this campus, actually to an off-campus house, a tar paper shack that is no longer there. Frankly, none of the spaces that I lived in on campus are here. It's like <laughs> Wittenberg is trying to shake the memory of me off it, and probably for good reason. <laughs> The year you were born was the year that I realized that life is full of imperfect people. Imperfect people ran into those buildings to help each other. Imperfect people died together. Imperfect people saved each other's lives. There is no perfect you. You are a work in progress, and there is no done. Here in these hills and valleys of Wittenberg, I found better. Not perfect, better. When I left here, I started working on constructing a life. I started working on constructing the perfect life, not a better one, a perfect one. And it has all come crumbling down. I stand before you struggling. Last year, I sold my business. I know you're probably thinking, how can you be struggling? However, like you today, a massive chapter in my life is closed. I have some thoughts about what is next, but I largely have no idea about what I'm doing for the rest of my life. 20 years ago, when I left this hollow, I stuffed my backpack, bought a Euro pass, spent three of the most amazing months of my life seeing places and meeting people I knew I would never meet again in Europe. I then moved to Lafayette, Louisiana to train as a crew member at Raising Cane's ninth location. You can imagine how proud my parents and alma mater were to find that after all this money and years of education that I'm working drive through I then helped them open up their 12th location as a manager and two years later moved back up to Ohio and became their first franchisee. Having now opened 44 restaurants over the last 17 years, we merged back with Raising Cane's, having sold all 44 restaurants with 2,980 of the 3,000 people working with us having jobs with the mothership. I am proud of that fact. Now, I don't know what to do. Some of you might roll your eyes realizing that I do, that this is not a problem per se. However, I'm 42. I have achieved one of the biggest things that I will ever set out to achieve. I have set myself and my family up for the rest of our lives. Let's say I live to 84 or 90 years old. That's 42 or 48 years from now. Yeah, I could sit on a golf course or on a beach or on my arse, but for what purpose? The problem they don't tell you with getting what you want is that it doesn't solve your problems. It creates different ones. Being rich doesn't fulfill you. I wish for you all to start and sell a business. I wish you win the award or buy the dream car or house. I hope you find the love of your life. I have, and it started here. You will achieve these things you dream of in your life because you are here. If you are here sitting in front of us, you have overcome massive challenges and benefited from some lucky breaks. I hope you experience these events that you desire so that you can find out how mediocre the event itself is. Though you have built the experience of the award or the event or the purchase or the love of your life up in your mind. What I really wish for you is to find out that who you are and what you are right now is enough. I'm going to read you an excerpt from a poem I wrote a couple of years ago. I say excerpt because it's a 300-line poem, which in and of itself is enough. Enough? What is enough? Being able to afford a room at a Motel 8, a week at the Ritz-Carlton, being able to buy a meal, a mansion, a 600-square-foot apartment, the penthouse, a tarp to sleep under, a condo downtown, a park bench, the last space at the shelter, a tent, a box, the stars in the sky. What is enough? 
being able to afford college, having a high school diploma, your GED, getting that next certification, becoming a doctor, saving one life, saving thousands of lives, never letting anyone die on your table, becoming a lawyer, becoming a partner in a law firm, becoming an associate, a great paralegal, running the law firm, winning that big case, working as a public defendant, winning every case you ever work, having a job, having a job that pays you minimum wage, having a job that pays you $20 an hour, $80,000 annually, a million bucks a year, a job that sucks but pays you a boatload, a career that fulfills you and loads your bank account, a job, a hobby that makes you smile while you lose track of time, a vocation that pays you next to nothing and makes you so happy you know you will never do anything else. What is enough? Being a well-known actor, acting in a major motion picture, starring in 10, acting in the school play, teaching Down syndrome kids how to put on a play, having people just leave you alone, throwing the best block party of the year, having people you're meeting with just show up on time, having $3,000 in a savings account, having a million dollars invested, having $10 million, starting a company, selling a company, winning one more bid, contract, game, award, heart, mind, hand, conquest, having a restaurant or a bar, being surrounded by the people you love when you die, being surrounded by the people you love right now. What is enough? Being mayor or governor, having a seat in the Senate or the president, one more push of Botox, one more pound off the waist, one more meal, forgiving your parents, having your parents forgive you, having that thing that keeps nagging you go away, one more steak with, those awesome, with that awesome asparagus and those delicious cheesy potatoes, a beautiful meal of fresh veggies, cabbage soup, a purse, that purse, those shoes, a closet full of clothes, a drawer to put clothes in, a place to wash your clothes, becoming a priest, a rabbi, a reverend, having a congregation, becoming a member of a group, becoming Christ or Buddha, finding yourself, creating yourself, having no self. What is enough? Making it to work on time. The moment your boss stops being a jerk, your boss tells you what you did well, having some friends that care about you, having a ton of friends, more muscles, a cuter nose, more hair, more disciples, more followers, that next promotion with a nice title change, that next sales bonus, running a library, being a teacher, teaching ADHD kids, teaching honor students, teaching a kid on the autism spectrum, teaching an adult on the autism spectrum, starting a movement, changing a law, passing a bill, passing a bill with your name on it, saving the world, saving yourself, changing the world, changing yourself, serving the world, knowing your kids, having your kids know you. What is enough? One, a perfect child, one that doesn't fight all the time, a cancer-free kid, one that would just listen to you, a straight-A student, the high school all-star, a well-rounded human, one that plays a specific sport, the valedictorian, a high school dropout with a great job, a college student without a job, a kid with a job, a kid with the job they love living the life they love, the president of their class, a kid in recovery, one that stopped heroin, opioids, drinking, pot, one with lots of friends, one that will see their 18th birthday, one that can read, a kid that loves life, a kid that has a friend, a kid that has many, a kid that loves you, a kid that loves themselves. What is enough? 24 hours in a day, 25, 30, having a lifetime of 20 years, 40 years, 60, 82, living 10 lifetimes, having one more year, living one more month, never dying, having one more moment, having this moment, is this enough? This moment right now, with whatever you have and are and are doing and being, is this poem enough? Am I? Strive for these things. Just don't expect the event, the award, the purchase, the achievement to change you. You will find, if you look, that the struggle to achieve is the long event that did change you. For you are no better or worse of a person before the achievement than you are after. The day before I sold the company, I thought I would be an amazing person the day after. Come to find out, nope, still the same. After 42 years and many people coming through my life, I am here to tell you that there are no good or bad people in the world. 
there are people who do and strive for their level best, and there are people who have decided that they are done learning and growing, that they have all the answers. My 96-year-old grandma just recently shot a video for her nursing home about how she was stuck in a mindset. <laughs> Terrified about going into a nursing home, equating an, in her mind to death. She shared her story and learning with the world about how she grew and changed through her coming to grips with her own inadequacies. And I couldn't be prouder of her. Imperfect people don't do amazing things because they are perfect. In people, per, imperfect people do amazing things because they find out that their imperfections lead them to the amazing things in life. If they can sit with their imperfections and accept them as themselves. Expect the struggle to be better, not perfect, better to change you. Expect the fallout from the disappointment of what the achievement didn't bring to change you. Just don't expect the achievement itself to change you. We made it. You made it. 20 years ago today, I walked across this stage in hollows and flip-flop, in this hollow, in flip-flops and a goatee to receive my diploma majoring in English. 15 years ago, you started your educational journey. Today I am speaking to you. Today you will walk across this stage receiving your hard-earned diploma. As imperfect people attempting to learn and grow, we have achieved something today. Like the child wading through the poop with utter joy on her face, please allow the imperfect you to find the joy, searching through the hard, crucial, crucible moments of life to find the better you that is who you already are. Congratulations, class of 2022. Thank you, Tim. We're deeply proud to call you an alumnus of the Wittenberg University. We are delighted that you could be here at your alma mater to celebrate the class of 22 with us. I now ask that our marshals get into place for the position we've all been waiting for, the conferring of degrees. Michelle. <laughs> Rookies. Technical difficulties, be patient, sorry. Okay, here we go. The candidates for the degree Master of Arts in Athletic Coaching, please rise. President Franson, I have the honor of presenting the candidates for the degree of Master of Arts in Athletic Coaching. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors and upon the recommendation of the faculty of Wittenberg University, I now confer upon you the degree of Master of Arts in Athletic Coaching. Graduating with the Master of Arts in Athletic Coaching, Garen J. Wojcinski. Quinn Douglas. Quinn. 
Edward Morgan Emery. Colin T. Laszlo. <laughs> Jeremy Mokre. <laughs> Hamid Sharif. The candidates for the degree of Master of Arts in Education will please rise. President Franson, I have the honor of presenting the candidates for the degree of Master of Arts in Education. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors and upon the recommendation of the faculty of Wittenberg University, I now confer upon you the degree of Master of Arts in Education. Masters of Arts in Education. Casey Kaufman. <laughs> Tiffany Marie Ketterman in, in absentia. Working on it. Caitlin L. Roberts. Christina M. Seaburn, in absentia. The candidates for the degree Master of Science in Analytics will please rise. President Franson, I have the honor of presenting the candidates for the degree of Master of Science in Analytics. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors and upon the recommendation of the faculty of Wittenberg University, I now confer upon you the degree of Master of Science in Analytics. Graduating with a Master of Science in Analytics, Tyler David Bartlett in absentia, Michael Essig. Zachary Thomas Geyer in absentia. Mm -hmm. Trevor Austin Hoberty. Tavon R. Morton in absentia. Travis L. Page in absentia. John Seifert. Gabriel Kent Stacy. Carly Nicole Stang. Ridge Patrick Young. President of the senior class and the graduates receiving honors, cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude, will please rise. President Franson, I have the pleasure of presenting for the conferral of degrees the president of the senior class and the members of the class of 2022 who are graduating with honors. The President of the Class of 2022 and members of the class graduating with honors, 
by the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors and upon the recommendation of the faculty of Wittenberg University, I now confer upon you, you the degrees with honors that you have merit, <clears throat> excuse me, that you merit, admitting you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of your respective degrees. You may be seated. The candidates for the degree Bachelor of Arts will please rise. No. If, that's all of you who are not getting a Bachelor of Science. <laughs> so most of you. President Franson, I have the honor of presenting the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors and upon the recommendation of the faculty of Wittenberg University, I now confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Arts, admitting you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of that degree. You may be seated. The candidates for the degree Bachelor of Music Education will please rise. <laughs> President Franson, I have the honor of presenting the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Music Education. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors and upon the recommendation of the faculty of Wittenberg University, I now confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Music Education, admitting you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of that degree. You may be seated. Candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science will please rise. President Franson, I have the honor of presenting the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors and upon the recommendation of the faculty of Wittenberg University, I now confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Science, admitting you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of that degree. You may be seated. Candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing will please rise. <laughs> President Franson, I have the honor of presenting the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors and upon the recommendation of the faculty of Wittenberg University, I now confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing, admitting you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of that degree. You may be seated. <laughs> Graduates receiving the Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Music Education, Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Science in Nursing will please come forward to receive your diploma. You may remain seated, however, until the marshals indicate that you should rise. Graduating with Bachelor of Arts degree in Studio Art, Sharice J. Brinkman. Sarah Catherine May Eshelman. <laughs> Oliver J. Geetson, magna cum laude. Way to go. <laughs> Ella.
Allison K. Crowley Kokensparger in absentia. Graduating with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Biochemistry and Molecular Biology, Christine Elizabeth Davis. <laughs> Lily Marie Morrison, summa cum laude. Paul Ruha Patrick. <laughs> Graduating with a Bachelor of Science degree in Biochemistry and Molecular Biology, Lucy Catherine Jingwen Bates, cum laude. Michael James Walter Bates. <laughs> Rachel Ann Boyette, also graduating with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Japanese language, summa cum laude, University Honors, Departmental Honors. Emma Jane Scritchfield, cum laude. <laughs> Graduating with a Bachelor of Arts degree with a major in biology, Ellen Dawn Brohard. Anna Lee Jane Lynn, summa cum laude. Kaylee Ashlyn Wintro, in absentia. Jennifer S. Baron Estrada, cum laude, departmental honors in biology. Alexa Ray Bell. Magna cum laude, University Honors, Departmental Honors in Biology. Elizabeth Hayo Canwright, summa cum laude, University Honors, Departmental Honors in Biology. Carly Ann Carafa. Brittany Danielle Cole, in absentia. Jessica Crowder. Ethan Ezekiel Grant. Nicole Elizabeth Hawkins. Kirsten A. Heverly, cum laude. <laughs> Michaela Nicole Jumper, in absentia. Megan Alexandria Nadzam, magna cum laude, departmental honors in biology. <laughs> Madeline Josie Pazig, yeah. magna cum laude, Department, Departmental Honors in Biology, University Honors. Saqib Rashid, Jr. Benjamin Michael Rodell. Mackenzie Ann Snyder. Grant Nicholas Sparks, 
in absentia. Adam Joseph Stazak. Zion Christopher Thomas. Michaela Shea Thompson, magna cum laude. Abigail Ellen Junker, summa cum laude. Graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Environmental Science, Casey David Peck. Bradley Michael Quick. <laughs> Tabitha Neely Roar. <laughs> Cheyenne Marie Ross. <laughs> Sarah Lynn Schildmeyer. <laughs> Madison Reese Vanskoy in absentia. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Environment, graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Environmental Science, Cooper R. Harris. Logan Elliot Allen Kelly. Tiffany Nicole Lang, summa cum laude, University Honors, Departmental Honors. Graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Accounting, John Tommy Belser III. James Cleveland Bricker. <laughs> Travis M. Ellington. Yes, Jack Paul Moses the second in absentia. Abby Beth Smith, magna cum laude. Brock James Tatum. <laughs> Lauren Marie Welker, summa cum laude. <laughs> Graduating with a bachelor's degree of entrepreneurship, Trevor Anderson. In absentia, Robert Jacob Frolic. Camry Beth Offit. Magna Cum Laude, University Honors, Departmental Honors. William Andrew Richardson. Graduating with a bachelor's degree of finance, Israel Annis. Anthony Blase. Blaze. Well, Blaze. Brian Alexander Burdett. That guy's Jack. That guy's Jack. <laughs> Dominic Catanzaro. Eric B. Davis III. Mitchell Ray Davis. Yeah, Eric. Yeah, Eric. Bo Thomas Foster. Daniel Stephen 
Kukanza. <laughs> Maria Lynn Miller, graduating magna cum laude, University Honors, Department Honors. In absentia, Noah Allen Randazzo. Hunter Scott Shelley. Roth Maxwell Susan Michael. Graduating with a bachelor's degree of economics, Noah William Miller. Noah Aaron Scott. And absentia, William process. Grant Snodgrass. <laughs> <laughs> Paige Janelle Wright, graduating summa cum laude, university honors and department honors. <laughs> graduating with a bachelor's degree of financial economics, Emily Marie Wiley. Graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Management, Madison Lynn Beachley. <laughs> Brian Stephen Braga, magna cum laude. Jared Burke, cum laude. Vanessa Cabrera. Cameron James Cottle in absentia. Michael T. Feisinger in, abs in absentia. And Christopher David Holst in absentia. And Tavia C. Horn, summa cum laude. Matthew Curtis Eirick, magna cum laude. Samuel Walker Kayser, in absentia. Michael A. Knock. Peter S. Mallory, summa cum laude, University Honors and de Departmental Honors. Madison Carey Moeller, cum laude. Rita E. Obenson. Kathleen Oliver. Woo! Mark F. Pratt. Yeah. Owen Presper. Yeah. Jacob P. Roberts. Jacob Edward Sauce, cum laude. Oh, sorry. Elijah Jordan Stanton. Griffin Allen Vale, summa cum laude. Money. 
graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Marketing, Riley Francis Bavino. You're welcome. Lily Morgan Browning. Oh, you're welcome. Thomas L. Uh, Thomas S. Delafield. Congrats. <laughs> Rashawn Dewan Edwards. Congrats. Oh, no problem. Charles M. Fails. Joshua N. Finkelday. Congratulations, Josh. Connor Joseph Hahn. <laughs> Chase David Haven. <laughs> Anna Kate Jacquemet. <laughs> Logan Michael Yezico. <laughs> Nicolette Ray Kenton. Congratulations. Mario Joseph Lorelli. Braden Allen Meyer, summa cum laude. John Joseph Miller. Sydney Nicole Reeder. Bowen Alexander Robelson. Thanks, Bowen. Take care. Abigail C. Roy in absentia. Reagan Renee Rubel. <laughs> Otis Gerald Smith the third. Christopher Patrick Stork. Congratulations. Samantha A. Wyatt. Congrats, Sam. Graduating with a degree in chemistry, Bachelor of Arts, Claire Elizabeth DeWeese, summa cum laude, university honors, departmental honors. <laughs> Rachel Ann Kaiser, summa cum laude. Graduating with a degree of Bachelor of Science in Chemistry, Amanda Ashley Lamb. <laughs> Paul H. Schmelzer, summa cum laude. <laughs> Out of here. <laughs> Graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Communication and Digital Media, Melinda Lejean Baker, summa cum laude. <laughs> Augustus James Esterline. <laughs> Elijah Jeffrey Esterline. Catherine L. Heestand, summa cum laude, University Honors, Departmental Honors. 
Catherine Maureen Kinzer. <laughs> Travis Austin Menser. <laughs> Sir Travis. Max Conrad Nordquist. <laughs> Congratulations. Julio Cesar Alessandro Novarini. Get it. <laughs> Weston Charles Sharpenstein. Rodney Allen Van Cleef. Nicholas Vincent Walters. Logan J. Wiggenhorn. <laughs> Abigail Mary Wire. Graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in East Asian Studies and a self-design major in Japanese, Peyton Nicole Ernst. Summa cum laude, University Honors, Departmental Honors. Graduating with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Education, Caitlin Starr Ashley. Tatum R. Bruno. Horse. Emma J. Capuano. Caroline Adair Coleman. Mia Grace Cornette. <laughs> Kayla Nicole Couch. <laughs> Michaela V. Kraft. Skyler May Dorota. Yes, yes. Abigail Noel Danaski. Yes. Ryan Patrick Dunn in Abstentia. Sophia R. Easton, summa cum laude. <laughs> Carrie Susan Foley, summa cum laude. Mary Lynn Habadas, summa cum laude. Erica Jordan Henry. Amanda Rachel Hewitson. Lauren Ashley Hurt, Maga Cum Laude. McKenna Ruth Kinser. Paige Nicole Kusinic. Summa cum laude. Adam Brock McArdle. Rebecca L. McMahon, cum laude. Yeah. 
Zachary Allen Miller. Allison Marie Moore. Garrett Keith Ogan, cum laude. Cassidy Rose Osborne. Kelly C. Quinn, cum laude. Olivia L. Roll, magna cum laude. Emma Grace Shuey, magna cum laude. Sydney C. Shannon. Gregory Jerome Sheehy the third. Yes, sir. Callista Maxine Spring, yeah. summa cum laude. Brianna Aubrey Titus. Haley D. Webb. <laughs> Graduating with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Educational Studies, Ellen Esther Delaire. <laughs> Mason William Davis. <laughs> Connor Adam Friend, summa cum laude. Samantha Charity Howard. <laughs> Graduating with a Bachelor of Arts degree in English, Taylor Flossia Jael Benford. <laughs> Courtney Aaron Buck, summa cum laude. Yeah. <laughs> Elise Nicole Freeland, yeah. magna cum laude. <laughs> Michaela Alexis Freeman. <laughs> Connor Aaron Green. <laughs> Erica Marie Jackson, summa cum laude, University Honors, Departmental Honors. <laughs> Sadie Ann Kurtzman, summa cum laude, University Honors, Departmental Honors. Lance Thomas Lambert, magna cum laude, in absentia. Natalie Kate McLean. <laughs> Claire F. Metzger, summa cum laude, departmental honors, in absentia. Faith Lucille Scully, summa cum laude. Mary Elizabeth Steiner, summa cum laude, in absentia. Dylan Robert Thurber. And Madeline J. Whitmore, in absentia. Graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Exercise Science, 
Caroline Ann Arndt, summa cum laude. Paige Marie Bemmer. Kenneth Bowling. <laughs> Maxwell Hayden Burke in abstentia. Colton Elias Cheeseman. Cum laude. Good job. Brooke N. Dill. Summa cum laude. University Honors, Departmental Honors. Andrew David Ellis. Jacqueline Michelle Hayes, cum laude in abstentia. Emma Nicole Hellman. Sophia Elizabeth Hess. <laughs> Seth Jones. <laughs> Christy Robin Kalis, magna cum laude. Eugene Joseph Lee. Yeah. Noah Lang Mackin. Yeah. Jeremiah Quabina Mensa in abstentia. Casey Lee Wren, summa cum laude. <laughs> Joshua Joseph Palmentera, cum laude in abstentia. Devin P. Ramsey. Anna Kathleen Schartz. <laughs> Jacob Thomas Schultz. <laughs> Cole C. Weaver. Graduating with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Sport Management, Rashad M. Ali Sakir. Oh, uh, McKenna Baker. Jason William Bowen. Russell David Burke, cum laude. Tyler Scott Defyball, magna cum laude. Morgan Elizabeth Ely. Harrison William Goff. James Nathaniel Johnson. Yeah. Logan Thomas Lang. Yeah. Landon Dwayne Martin. Yeah. 
Emma Menjivar, cum laude. Jordan D. Nash. Andrew Michael Reese. Caleb P. Severance, cum laude in absentia. Jamie Lynn Unchineer. Artemis Watts in absentia. Delaney Chase Williams. William Edward Woldridge. Graduating with a Bachelor of Arts degree in history, Ethan Emmanuel Bakikio Magna Cum Laude in Abstentia. Andrew G. Jotsworth. <laughs> Sabrina Kendall Schaefer. Graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in International Studies, Kenneth C. Asbel in absentia. Fatou Jobote. <laughs> Hannah Michael Ramsbottom in absentia, magna cum laude. Gradually, graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Liberal Studies, Stephen Eric Moulton. Graduating with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Mathematics, Clara Waylean Anderson, summa cum laude, Departmental Honors. Ashton Renee Arnett, magna cum laude. <laughs> Evelina Chandran. <laughs> Anthony Lawrence D'Andrea. Yeah, Evelina. Congrats. Arena Joe Garland in absentia. Michael Keith Osmond. <laughs> Graduating with a Bachelor of Science degree in Mathematics, Austin T. O'Quinn. Also graduating with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Computer Science, summa cum laude, University Honors, Departmental Honors. Colin A. Saini, magna cum laude. Matthew Stephen Shainer. Graduating with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Computer Science, Austin John Brenneman, summa cum laude. Casey J. Conrad, summa cum laude. Logan Lamont Hunter. Jared A. Nash. That's okay. Joanna L. Stetz. Yeah. 
Graduating with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Data Science, Matthew Michael Schaefer, cum laude, in absentia. And graduating with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Information Systems, Ashton Sho Horiuchi. Yeah. Graduating with a Bachelor of Arts degree with a major in music, Samuel E. Bennett, cum laude. Shantae Tamara Leslie, summa cum laude, University Honors, Departmental Honors. Molly Roisin Morin. Brianna Rose Plummer in absentia. Graduating with a Bachelor of Music Education degree, Lillian Grace Gardner, summa cum laude. Elizabeth J. Pickering. <laughs> Andrew David Schaefer, magna cum laude. Graduating with a degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Sydney L. Artis Cum Laude. <laughs> Jillian C. Baker Cum Laude. Tanner <laughs> Paul Boris. Riley E. Dunphy. <laughs> Sean D. Hankerson, Jr. <laughs> Abigail Henson. Taylor Ashton Kirkwood. <laughs> Alexandra Beth Klein. Tatiana Andrea Mays. Caitlin Elizabeth McFarland, cum laude. Samuel J. Monachino. Dorothy Patricia Morgan, cum la summa cum laude, University Honors, Departmental Honors. Allison Marie Ormsby, summa cum laude. Sierra Elizabeth Fibbs, cum laude. Likard. <laughs> Abigail Elizabeth Sammons Cum Laude. <laughs> Jessica Joan Swanson. <laughs> Oh, 
Dakota M. White. Hannah Mackenzie Winget. Graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Organizational Leadership, Melissa Ann Anderson, cum laude. Congratulations. Megan S. Short, summa cum laude. Congratulations. Tracy McLean Tackett, cum laude, University Honors, Departmental Honors. Congratulations. Graduating with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Physics, Maxwell Bauer in absentia, Lizzie Cafferty. <laughs> Graduating with a Bachelor of Science degree in Physics, Zach Howe, summa cum laude, departmental honors, and a major in music. Graduating with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Political Science, Avery Beth Adams, summa cum laude. Aline Mwamikaze Bagabo, in absentia. Anya Baron Bennett, cum laude. Kennedy Ann Marie Briggs, Oh. Evan D. Fetter, cum laude, in absentia. Ariana Marie Garvin Glazer, in absentia. Nicholas Neil Jenks, in absentia. Alex T. Jordan, summa cum laude. <laughs> Sophie Valerie Roulette Wade. Come louder. <laughs> Sophia Marie Spriggs, come louder. <laughs> Robert Vanover Hunt, summa cum laude, in absentia. And Maxine Ann Wishman. Graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, Daniel Jean Valchunas in absentia. Ashley Ann Brooks. Summa cum laude, University Honors, Departmental Honors. Shannon M. Brown. Zadia Buchanan. <laughs> Catherine Denise Coombs. <laughs> Danielle Bree Crislip, cum laude, University Honors, Departmental Honors. Megan E. Engel. Sarah M. Fortner. Taylor Fry, in absentia. Alexis R. Funzek.
Braxton Andrew Hahn. Gabrielle McLeod Hancock, cum laude. Monica A. Hostler, also graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Biology, magna cum laude. Madison Marie Lakoski, cum laude and Larkspur. Blair Nicole Meltner, magna cum laude, University Honors, Departmental Honors. Zarek Allen Porter. Christine Elizabeth Tomlin. Graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Religion, Ryan Peter Zimmerman. <laughs> Graduating with self-design majors and a Bachelor of Arts, Jackson Hogan Brown. <laughs> Kyle Pessel, in absentia. Emmanuel Toms, cum laude. <laughs> Graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Sociology, Jeanette Ann Anderson. <laughs> Keaton Edward Beaverson. <laughs> Katura Saladin Emery. <laughs> Jacob Michael Luskamp in Estemsha. Abby Marie Roberts. <laughs> Hannah. Grace Schaefer, summa cum laude, University Honors, Departmental Honors. Hunter M. Stewart. <laughs> Emery Julia Turner, cum laude. Graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Theater, Lily Sage Kerr Young. <laughs> Jordan Lynn Castura. <laughs> Kayla Ann Spitzmiller, cum laude. <laughs> Jessica Renee Southerly. <laughs> August D. T. Meyer, magna cum laude. Toppins, cum laude. <laughs> Graduating with a Bachelor of Arts degree in German, Mitchell G. Murphy. Congratulations, Mitch. 
graduating with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Spanish, Anthony Nicholas Petruzzi. <laughs> Roja Serrano in abstentia. As the president of Wittenberg University, I have the dis distinct privilege of standing before you today to acknowledge your accomplishments. It is my hope that each of you will take the light you discovered here and use it to your highest calling. Will all graduates please rise? Master's graduates, please move your tassel to the right. <laughs> Baccalaureate graduates, please move your tassel to the left. <laughs> this signifies your new status as graduates of Wittenberg University. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Please be seated. It is my pleasure to introduce Steve Shaner, President of the Wittenberg University Alumni Association. I'm pleased to be the first to say, my fellow Wittenberg alumni. Four years ago, you left your hometowns you packed up everything you could fit in your car and maybe your parents' car, and you left your childhood friends, your hometown, your childhood school, and you came here and you made a new home here at Wittenberg. And it's been your home for the last four years. And over those four years, you met some great professors that really touched you, inspired you, challenged you, tested you, helped you find your passion and they set you on the path that you're on today. You met some friends, and I promise you, no matter where you go in this world, this group of friends will be counted among your closest friends and lifelong friends. Because not only do you, show, do you share your friendship, but you share a common experience. In a few minutes, you're gonna exit graduation hollow, you're going to make your way up the hill towards Myers Hall, and you're going to stomp that seal. And when you stomp that seal, you'll be turning the last page on this chapter, your Wittenberg chapter. And tomorrow, you'll open a new page to a new chapter. Many of you will go to graduate school or on to jobs in new towns around new circles of people, and you'll have new home. But I want you to remember a few things, two things, as you leave. First of all, I want you to take the light of Wittenberg with you when you go. I want you to take the light when you pursue your passions and your dreams in all of your endeavors. Take the, white, the light of Wittenberg with you. 
And I want you to take the light of Wittenberg that burns in your heart, that, that forms the way that you connect with other people and that you care for other people. And what's more fundamental to Wittenberg than the way that you care for others and you serve others? And when you leave and you, you have a new home, I want you to remember that Wittenberg will always be your home. And just like your parents and loved ones asked you four years ago, don't forget to come home, I'm going to tell you the same thing. Don't forget to come home. Come home to this beautiful university. Come home and, and take in the sights. Close your eyes and remember the laughter and the voices of your friends. Look at the landmarks around campus and remember the good times. I also want you to take your time and your talents and your resources and give back to your communities, to your professions, but don't forget your home, the place where all of this started. This is your home. It will always be your home. Provide for your home. Protect your home. Make this available for another generation of students that they can come and have the same experience you had for four years, that they can sit in these chairs and feel exactly how you feel, because it's a beautiful feeling, because we have a beautiful home. It's now my pleasure to introduce the alma mater and the alma lux. The alma mater is the spirit of Wittenberg. It's a traditional honor that began in June of 1920. It's the highest honor bestowed upon a junior female student who exemplifies the qualities of leadership, scholarship, and service during their lifetime. The Alma Lux is a tradition that was established in 2003, and it's the highest honor bestowed upon a junior male student. This student represents Wittenberg's ideals of scholarship, service, and leadership to the university in campus act activities. I am now honored to introduce Ms. Courtney Buck and as the Alma Lux, and Mr. Edward Toms, or Courtney Buck as the Alma Mater, and Mr. Emmanuel Toms as the Alma Lux. Hi, I'm Edward. Uh, <laughs> Congratulations to all our fellow classmates on this momentous occasion. It has been an honor to call ourselves members of the class of 2022. Are we reading this? Oh, I'm reading okay. it. Yes. Okay. In order to allow our graduates a safe passage out of Commencement Hollow, we ask members of the audience to please remain seated after the benediction and after or until the recessional has concluded. Thank you. And now, please rise and join us in the singing of the alma mater. I think they're playing organ music.
Receive the benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Uh, pl please be seated. <laughs>